I wanted to know what types of content people are sharing the most and if there are correlations between things like user race, location, and gender, and the type of content that they share. It's important to note at this point that the population I'm studying is the actual posts themselves, not the users. First thing I did was collect random sets of three random letters with replacement. Then I searched each set in the Facebook search bar. Through each set of results, I chose a search result, i.e. a Facebook user, based on 45 random two-digit numbers, 0, 1 through 20. Out of 45 accounts, 13 were private accounts, and so my sample ended up being 32 accounts. So the first thing I did was the one variable statistics with the content frequency. So as you can see, I have the different types of content and I used the FCC guidelines that I um, cited in the paper to determine like what was a different type of content. The only thing that the FCC didn't exactly have was Facebook events. Um, the other category is like uh, memes, funny videos, funny pictures and just things that didn't really fit anywhere else. And then personal was status updates, photographs um, of them and their friends and uh, things like that. So the next thing that I did was I did categorical frequency. So through the calculations that I did for the large accounts condition for my confidence intervals, I had expected to lose some of the data here because I was using this as a process to weed out the data that wasn't actually going to be good to use, but I lost more than I thought I would the entirety of the location data and race data, there were so many counts that were lower than 10 that it was just unusable. Then I did some not very confident confidence intervals at 90% confidence, by the way, with N equals 171, because that was how many posts there were. Gender data and the different uh, categories of content. And these were actually okay, these were pretty good. So those were the views that I used to do the chi-square test. I did have some low expected counts here in the male section, but I felt like I was gonna continue anyway just because I had a higher number of females than males in the sample. I only sampled 171 posts, like I said. And I began to realize at this point that you would need so much more data than that to accurately sample the population of posts on Facebook in its entirety. And I'm gonna come back to that in a little bit too. So with the data that I got, it was very likely to be reflective of the population. So on the other data that I said I was gonna talk about again, the race and location data, what I discovered was the population of posts on Facebook is not only enormously large, it's constantly changing. So you would either need like an Everest size amount of data to accurately measure the population proportions and statistics of the posts on there. Or you would need some kind of a program that could gather the data by itself without um, human involvement in real time and analyze it in real time. And then those numbers would just be constantly changing little by little. So that definitely has hindered the accuracy of this study. Conclusions. 171 posts was not large enough to allow the majority of my data to pass the large counts condition for inference. So that was a failure on my part, but I did learn some stuff from it. Also, I learned that the categories of race and location are like way too large and contain way too many possible subcategories to be useful for conducting inference procedures. If you wanna infer about those things, you need a Mount Everest size amount of data. And also you would need a way, 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 way stronger program than Google Sheets, which is what I was using, because although it's useful, um, it definitely cannot cope with that amount of data. So my one proportion Z confidence intervals at 90% confidence for frequency and gender resulted in p-values that I used for the chi-square, which I got a value of 19.16 and a p-value of 0.08. My alpha significance level was pretty low because of the low counts in the um, large counts condition, but still it allowed me to reject the null hypothesis. However, I do have some very huge reservations about my data just because of the very small sample size. So I would defer to any experiment that followed this with a much larger sample size. These were the um, statistics that contributed most to the chi-square statistic overall. Um, men seemed to post less of hyper-local news, which by the way is like neighborhood news, like neighborhood patch, things like that. And they posted a lot less Facebook events than expected. And then women posted a lot fewer international articles than expected. Overall, I observed um, a lot less international or national articles than I personally expected, especially because I conducted this uh, study leading up to the 2017 inauguration. 
the answer. According to my data, there is an association between Facebook user gender and the frequency with which they share different types of content. Who invented Facebook? I don't like dying. I can't think of invented Facebook. All I can think is the guy who played the guy who invented Facebook. Well, invented Facebook. And then in all capital letters, two hours later, Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs>